welcome back students i hope that you were able to do the exercise genuinely and you got your top 3 or 4 this empowering emotions or attitudes you know that it is important to you because you have ranked it like that you want to get over it now let's see how we can get over it this is a again a tool everything i'm talking about today is about a tool this is not invented by me but you can say collated by me and after work working with hundreds of people i thought that this is very effective it may be effective with you too so the first a to overcome the limitation which you have identified whatever in emotion you have identified please make a note of it in your notebook after you have made a note of that look at the meaning what is the meaning you have given it note it down then go to wikipedia dictionary or even artificial intelligence chat gpt whatever you have, you use go there and ask for the meaning you will get a meaning there is the meaning the same if the meaning is the same we can go to the next day say the meaning is not same then is that limitation or disempowering em emotion correct would you like to choose another one you have to decide this i'll give you an example of what happened when i used one of this i had one thought process that as i grew my practice after i had 200 300 people working in our office i had 10 partners plus i was feeling that i become alone nobody talks to me only i talk to everybody i am not supported by everybody they actually don't want to do anything but i am forcing them to do it i got this type of a thought process when i did this exercise so my emotion of being alone unsupported isolated was very high so i went to wikipedia and looked for the meaning what is the meaning i gave is that after i have become i have grown i have become the head of a large organization i have lost touch with everybody this was my thought process but when i looked at the meaning of what is alone i found that i was totally mistaken i had so many people in my family my nieces my nephews who loved me i had so many people in my office who had affection for me respect for me i had so many friends maybe i had not called them but i had many genuine friends when i started to make a list so then where was the question of me being alone so i was not at all alone then i picked the next one which at that time was anger so then i went into the what is anger as per me then what is it as per wikipedia dictionary artificial intelligence i found that what i had which is anger was perfectly described in the dictionary and all that so i came to know that i am a angry person and that is a emotion which is limiting me once i had identified the meaning as correct then i was i asked myself question whether this anger is permanent so the answer for that was no many times i was happy i was happy in certain circumstances when i was playing i was happy when i was with my nieces i was happy when i was with my children i was happy but there were times when i used to get i am angry in, in these circumstances i would never get angry was it personal to madhukar was i the only angry person in the world the answer for that also was that it is no 
it was not personal to me. There are so many people who get angry, who have this limitation. Was it pervasive? Was anger there all the time? When I slept, when I got up, when I went to office, when I went to play? No. Anger used to come only at some times. So therefore, one fact became clear that anger was temporary. Me being angry was temporary. Awareness of the impact. Next, I made a note of the awareness of me being angry on my parents. So it had come to a point where my father, if I was getting angry, my father also would get angry. My mother would get depressed. She would move away from me. She would feel very unhappy. The distance between my parents and me was increasing. That is the impact of being angry with parents. What about seniors? Seniors used to get angry with me. They would shout at me. You are always like this, Madhukar. And then I would get even more angry. I would get frustrated. My work wouldn't be done. Next, juniors, they got scared of me. So if a junior is scared of me, can he do the work properly? No. What about friends? My friends, numbers kept coming down. Up to the age of 40, 42, I was a, I thought that I am a quite a decent boy with a lot of dedication, hard work, etc. But how is it that I had lesser and lesser friends over a period of time? The most important impact which I noted was on myself. That because I was angry, I was inefficient. I was not confident. I would not take up big projects. I would like to do everything myself instead of getting it done by somebody who could do it. He may be even better. For each of these sectors, I wrote four impacts. So when I wrote this impact, I was feeling pretty bad. And this exercise, you may also feel very bad. When you look at the impact of you being like that on various people, it looks like what we want in life, we are doing opposite. But then don't lose heart. This exercise is to overcome that particular emotion. In my case, it was anger. Awareness of triggers. When is it that I would get angry? So if I was going somewhere where I am going to be evaluated, where I am going to my boss and boss is going to look at my report and say, you have missed this, you have missed that. That would lead me to anger. I am playing a game and I'm losing. So I know now I'm going to get angry if I lose. There you could be so many triggers like this for your emotion. At least 15 of them, please write it down because this is the place which will give you an idea and give you a thought process that if this doesn't happen, or if I can catch myself in situation where I know I'll be angry, then I can control it. For example, somebody comes complaining to me in the office. Now, the first object which what will happen to me, I'll get angry. So I know that I'll get angry when people come and complain. So what do I do? I control myself and listen to the person. I do not allow myself to get angry at that time. Say somebody is shouting at me. I'll take a break. I'll say just a minute, I'll come back to you. If it is possible, sometimes it's not possible. Then take a deep breath, close my eyes, look upwards. Don't look down, look upwards. Normally it gives a sense of relief. So the triggers are very important to write so that you come to know 
that these are the reasons or these are the events which happen or these are the people who you come across when that emotion erupts like my anger then the next point is very important once i know that being angry is counterproductive to my life i know that i have to get rid of anger or reduce it to a small portion then i can think and look at what is that belief which i can bring what is the type of person madhukar can be so that he does not ever become angry so there were two three things one was when reflecting on this one thought which came to me is i should become calm calm is the opposite of anger okay what else i thought then i should i said i should become competent what will happen if i am confident competent i will have full confidence in myself what others say about me will not impact somebody doesn't respect me doesn't matter that is his uh, view earlier i would get angry when somebody does not respect me if you are not able to get this idea then in the excel which we have given you there are two columns one is empowering emotions the next is disempowering from the disempowering you got one item like my anger so you can go to that empowering emotions and go through that and see if one of those conditions if you bring to yourself then anger would not be there so for me it is calm and competent once this is done gyan has come that means i have got an answer to a problem which i never thought can be solved me being angry because i have been angry for 40 years i have been angry when from the childhood because of so many things which happened in my childhood i felt it i was unfair parents were unfair uh, children students would bully me because i was in small in size whatever has happened in my life i found anger was the response to that and it became a part of my life now after seeing this i saw that it had such a bad impact and there was an alternative which was to be calm and become competent till now we have reached an answer to it but the major job which is pending is how do i become calm how do i become competent so i had to list out what are all the things i have to do to become calm i had some thoughts i wrote it down then i also took the help of the internet in those days google today you have artificial intelligence all you have to do is how can i become calm if you put you will get some 10 alternatives in the 10 alternatives you may be already be doing four there may be some other alternatives which you feel oh this i cannot do it's all right whether you can do or not is again as was talked earlier if you tell yourself you can do you can do if you tell yourself you can't you can't anyway look at those which you can first initially so for me becoming calm surprisingly was workout play game do meditation so i had not done meditation in my life till 40 42 age maybe so i had to learn what is meditation i even went for some jaggi vasudev classes i went for a, of course a empowerment class in which meditation was part of it yoga quiet time means time to myself undisturbed so i used to normally get up at 7 uh, o'clock before i was 42 after that i get up early most of the days five days a week four days a week i get up at around 4:30 but that is my choice okay everybody need not get up at 4:30 i get up in the at morn in the morning at 4:30 after i have uh, freshened myself i would say drink warm water drink one cup of warm water with lemon and honey how much time this will take 15 minutes 
then i will do meditation now how long you can meditate depending on the time available to you meditation can be done for 10 minutes it can also be done for 1 hour i normally do half an hour guided meditation so that my thoughts also are a bit controlled after that i have a back problem i have had a bad back for 35 years so i do some back exercises 10 minutes 15 minutes then i go out for a walk luckily i am i go to work in a garden beautiful breeze green trees a lot of people walking there who are smiling at you good morning how are you you start your day so well this routine help me to inculcate lot of good habits including overcoming my anger this was not the only thing i did i also went through what are all the steps i can take to make my improve or reduce my anger manage my anger remember ang- anger is something which is there with many due to various reasons even the competent can be angry leaders can be angry but it's not a good state of being normally when i get angry there are a lot of toxic elements which are formed in my body i will end up having acidity i will end up having lot of headaches i may fall sick very often whenever there is a virus in town it will come to me first so there is a good reason to not to do get into all this and when you start working on those action points then you will see success coming you will see slowly every, that particular emotion for me i became very calm after that earlier i was a proprietor for 14 years i was a proprietor with people around me not being really happy less friends financial troubles but after i became calm i was able to chart out my own life in fact many of you would have gone through the goal setting video long video unfortunately uh, it does take time to explain all the steps so i set up my life goals only after i became i was able to reduce my anger to a very small extent and i became calm and competent how did i become competent i was in the area of indirect access so i started having a habit of reading every day every week i would write one article i also thought of writing books and as of today I, our office has come up with 36 books in the initial stages i used to spend a lot of time on the books now i do mostly editing fine tuning 36 books a person who has failed who had failed in his ninth standard and also failed a couple of times in ca became an expert acknowledged expert in gst earlier it was excise then it was service tax then it became gst everywhere i was acknowledged as an expert how i put certain action points i used to answer online queries i used to be the leading online query answerer for almost 5 years on the professional development portal of the institute of chartered accountants of india where anybody can any member can ask questions and people answer so i used to answer was it a very big task no it was not i used to spend on an average 15 minutes a day sometimes on sundays or something i would answer a few more but i like to be number 1 other than liking my knowledge became stronger and stronger i got so many insights i became very competent from an above average competence i reached expert level over a period of 2 years it's not it doesn't come every immediately but for that i had to allocate time my advice to all of you is once you come to what are the action points you have to take please see that every day 5 days a week saturday sunday you leave it 
one hour you allocate for taking action to improve yourself and do the things which you have set out for yourself. So for competence, I had one, which was writing articles, improving my English. Even today I do. Every day morning I do something called Wordle. I'm 64. Every day morning I do. It is just uh, 10, 15 minutes. How to find a word? You can Google it also. You can do it yourself. Very interesting. I am. I do the advanced version. Then I also do quadril, which is four words. Again, that takes me five, ten minutes. All this I do in the morning before my walk. 6.45, I go for my walk. After the walk, I do play. I have a week back, I told you, even then, with this back exercise and all, I'm able to play. TT, three, four doubles games, sometimes a little more, which gives me so much joy. It also releases certain chemicals which give me energy for the rest of the day. The point which is very important, the last A is very important. Implementation is everything. Till implementation, it is the knowledge. And many times in implementation, implementation we miss out. Let's look at a case study, how a student who has, who is anxious, is anxious about everything. Will I reach school in time? Will my teacher fire me? Will I be able to, uh, you know, compete with my, uh, my friends? I have so many doubts. His name is Shyam. So he checks whether he is anxious. He also checks in the dictionary, Wikipedia, and he comes to know that what he's thinking, what is anxiousness, and what is there in the dictionary is the same. Then he questions the next, am I anxious all the time? No. Is Am I the only person in this world who is anxious? No. Am I anxious all the time? No. So all no. So I am clear that this is temporary and can be changed. Shyam comes to know that it is not genetic. He doesn't have to think that, okay, this is, I am like this, nothing can be done. Here he releases from the point that he, it is uncontrollable or it is a genetic deficiency to Yes, I can do it. I can change myself. Then he looks at what is the impact on parents, etc. He finds that parents also get anxious. They are careful around him. They are not open. They don't want to hurt him. They protect him unnecessarily. They are not free with him. He is getting isolated from parents, seniors, juniors, friends. And it is downward for all, including himself. He himself feels that because he's anxious, he gets isolated. He goes away. He doesn't talk to people much because every experience is not so good. The other person is having a negative impact. This is certainly not the way to be. Then he reflects. Actually, before he reflects, he writes 15 emotions, triggers. He finds that writing an exam or a test is a problem for him. He gets very anxious. Even mock test, he gets anxious. If he visits relatives, he gets anxious because relatives will ask him, what are you doing? How are you doing in school? Are you coming first? Why should anybody come first? We are okay as we are and as we are not. When he meets friends who are doing well, he gets anxious. These are all the triggers. So he writes down all these 15 triggers where he will become anxious. I know if I do this, I'll become anxious. So he can be prepared. For example, he knows that if he has to write a test, he'll be prepared. So what he will do? He will use affirmation. He will use visualization. He will prepare well. So he's confident. 
Therefore, the extent of anxiousness when exams are taken up will be less. What is the alternative possibility which he can bring to remove anxiousness from his life or reduce it to very small extent like I did with anger? So Shyam thinks how he can be something so that anxiousness will not be there. He comes to a conclusion that if he's confident, then he need not be anxious at all. Wonderful. He has reached what he needs to be, not to be anxious. Now he has to make a note of actions to become confident. So he thinks about it, notes down something. He goes to chat GPT. Shyam lists out five actions which could make him confident. Then he allocates one hour, five days a week for one, may, one month. So how much is it? Five into four, 20 hours he's going to only work on how to be confident. What do you think the result will be? Consistently, he will do this for that 20 hours. Obviously, within a week, he'll start becoming more confident. And by the end of five weeks, four weeks, he'll be very confident. So his anxiousness would have disappeared. An emotion which was stopping him from achieving his goals has suddenly gone down. He has become confident. He can talk to anybody, he can go into an exam and he knows that he will do well or to the best of his abilities. He may not come first, he may not get 100, but he's confident, yes, I'll do well, I'll do my best. What happens to all the relationship? His parents like him now. He's a much better person, Shyam. Every day when he comes from school, they talk to him because Earlier, he would have just run off to his room or run out. Now he is willing to speak to everybody. When he goes to his friends, he's smiling. How are you? What happened in school? Boss, this, that, he's happy. What happened? He transformed. Who transformed him? Shyam himself transformed himself by allocating one hour a day for five days a week and made it go on for one month. One month is more than enough. Then what did Shyam do? He took the next weakest emotion and did the same exercise again. What we are going to do also is that we will take some common issues which people face and make a case study like this, a more detailed case study, and I will present a video on three case studies of how to get rid of limiting emotions or mental blocks. What are the general things which will help us to get over limiting emotions? These are general, okay? It may not be specific to that particular item. Specific to the item, you will have to see. Sometimes we have baggage, old thoughts which are all wrong. May be wrong. Some stories which are limiting us. Something happened in the in our old in our young age. We we were in a school. I was playing some game. Somebody insulted me, and I stopped playing the game itself. How can that insult? You just insulted. Children do insult. Maybe he wanted to. He himself was feeling sad, so he wanted to tell somebody something. We don't know where he came from and what he told was it the truth may not be, but then we made it the truth. Failure is something which many of us have difficulty in dealing with. I myself had a lot of difficulty. Nowadays in my office, sometimes my partners, they call me and tell me, sir, please speak about your failures and how you overcame because I've used this technique so many times. Actually, I am a person who has failed hundreds of times. 
I'm an average person, so I have to fail. I will fail, but I'll learn from them and get over it. And later, I will not have a problem at all. Moving out of comfort zone. I'm comfortable here. Become uncomfortable. That's my idea. Become uncomfortable. Lot of things open up in your life. So many opportunities. And options are available everywhere now. Maybe 20 years back when I got uh, gyan of this, I didn't have so many possibilities. But now you have so many options. Knowledge is at your fingertip. Understand that the social media, the Amazons, the Googles, the TV games, the TV serials all have an impact on your mind. Once I know it, I'll still continue to do it. I play online bridge. From the age of 62, I started playing a bit more. But will I play the whole day? No. Maybe an hour when I'm free. If I'm not free, I have some work to do. I will not touch that at all. For people who have regular jobs, maybe you have to see that this is only allocated for the evening. Don't have social media going through during your work. Every time a ping comes, answer to it. Many people have even got out of social media. But my suggestion is control it. There are apps which are available which will allow you to control. For example, if you are at work, every time a mail comes, you don't have to reply to it that moment. Depending on how important is the job you do, you can schedule every one hour to look at it, every three hours to look at it. As you move up the organization, maybe you have become general manager, then you, you might have to see the mail every 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And as we thought, replace limitations with empowering thoughts. That is the exercise we did a bit earlier. The solution should be not only implemented, it should be monitored. Just don't leave it. Oh, I didn't do this time. I was not able to do this on Wednesday and Friday. Okay, you didn't do it on Wednesday and Friday one hour. Do it on Saturday or Sunday. Ensure that that week is clear. Some proven tools are there. How you can support yourself. Remember, these tools are not only for overcoming limitation. The tools can be used for many other things. Let's go to the tools. One of the things I found very useful is every day starting with gratitude. In fact, if you do any meditation, the meditation ends with thanking the universe or thanking God, thanking your parents, thanking your, your community for everything it has given you. We are all lucky. If you are watching this video itself, you are lucky. Write specific gratitude for people around you. For example, if I were to write about my partner, I would say, you have unburdened me because of your fantastic memory. Earlier, I had to do everything. I had to go to the department. I had to draft the appeal. Now, I can sit in office and do what I am good at. And you are doing a job which is much better than mine, which is going to the tribunal, winning cases. Your level of humility is terrific. And I am learning to be less arrogant because of that. Now, these are specific things I am writing. You are always there to do the work which I want. When there is urgency, you don't bother about time. You are totally committed. I really thank you and hats off to you. Can you imagine what impact it has on the partner? Partner will get more energized. Understand your true potential. You need not have everything. For example, my memory is weak. My grasping is weak. You may be surprised. How did Madhukar write 36 books jointly with others if his memory was weak? Because I had others to do that job. Every one of my partners, initial partners were authors. 
They had written two to three, three books. As we grew, maybe the number of authors in partners has reduced. I think till the till we had 10, 12 partners, I used to boast that every partner of mine is also an author. He is also a presenter. He can give seminars anywhere. Write down what you do well. Every day in your diary, write down what all you did well. Also, what you did not do well, what you failed in, this is a place which can catch you. So write down where you failed and what you learned from that. Obviously, you may not fail again in the same area, in the same way. Visualize, which we already talked about, the result of your goals. Affirmations can be at strategic places. We put affirmations like our purpose vision board is there in partner's room. It's also there in the common area. Don't be in touch with people who give out negative energy. They are called toxic people. Sometimes they are part of a life. OK, keep distance from them. You don't have to keep going and get insulted if somebody is all the time insulting. When you're doing any job, re schedule reasonably. Sometimes our schedule we cannot keep. Something has happened. I fell sick. My brother fell sick. My father fell sick. It's not only sickness. It could be suddenly there was a manage, marriage announced. Two days we have to go, which is outstation. Now I lost those two days. I have to come back and do my work also. And this... Whatever we are doing, we are going to do on that also. You have to schedule reasonably. With this, part two is complete. But this wonderful tool can only be successful or give results when we do it. And we have to do it. One month, I, you take up your most impactful negative emotion. After that, you take up the next one and the next one. As I said, we are going to link three case studies videos on specific disempowering emotions, which I will record and it will be available for you to see how we can get rid of these limitations. If I were to look at this particular initiative of mine, this is one of the most powerful tool I have come across. More than 400, 500 people have made use of this tool by themselves or with some guidance from their seniors. And they have become different. People who came from slums, who didn't want to study, finished CA without failing sometimes. Some of them failed. They became advocates. They became they rose to their potential. Everything is possible as long as we change our thoughts and beliefs and our narrative and change our life. Welcome to all of you to change yourself for the better. Thank you very much.